The following segment is sponsored by Topeka Symphony Orchestra. And we welcome Raffaele Cipriano, assistant conductor with the Topeka Symphony Orchestra. Raffaele, good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for being with us. I'd like to start with just having you tell us about your role and how long you've been with the symphony. Oh, sure. I started working with the symphony. It was September 2020. Um, and uh, my role as assistant conductor is to uh, be at every rehearsal and concert. Uh, in the rehearsal, I'm in the hall listening for balance. Um, so I can talk with uh, Master Pickett uh, about what instruments are coming across well, what instrument needs to, to have more sound. And we, we chat and we kind of discuss uh, the next steps at each rehearsals. Um, and then during the show, um, I'm backstage. Uh, I'm in the, um, in the control room helping the director because we are live streaming all the shows. Because of the pandemic, we want to make sure that people can also enjoy the concert from home. And I am in the booth uh, with my score, uh, helping the director pointing the right soloist in the right moments, uh, so people at home can have a nice experience and see the instruments that are uh, prominent in a specific segment of the concert. I, I uh, love that. Oh, go ahead. Oh, and sometimes I also have the opportunity to conduct the orchestra. I, I, I conducted a set of um, Dvorak dances in the November concert, and that's always a pleasure because it's such a great team to, to make music with. So, yeah. Well, I love that we have such amazing musicians right here in Northeast Kansas. Mm -hmm. And the next concert is actually coming up on Saturday. So tell us what we can expect with that. Uh, well, it's... Um, it's a concert, uh, of course it's tied to dance, because this whole season uh, is featuring dance music. And uh, the highlight of this concert is the second suite uh, of Daphne's and Chloe by Ravel. And Maestro Pika chose that concert, in uh, that piece in this concert, because we are very close to uh, Valentine's Day. And um, Daphne's and Chloe is a wonderful love story that uh, has its root in uh, Greek mythology, and Ravel, depicts this this wonderful fresco of these two kids that were apart because uh, Chloe was abducted by pirates but then at some point they are reunited and they can celebrate their love with a wonderful music that I, I'm sure people will will enjoy and uh, will be very excited about. Oh, it sounds like an amazing story. Now, is there anything that we need to be aware of regarding COVID precautions before we head to the concert? Uh, yes, uh, we are asking all the patrons to wear masks um, because, you know, we are performing a uh, wide concert hall on campus and that's, that's, we are trying to keep everyone safe, both on stage, but of course in the audience. And uh, if anyone is, doesn't feel about, you know, coming out yet to a concert hall, please uh, connect to our live stream, uh, which is, you know, very, uh, very high quality. And you can enjoy the concert with good audio and video from the comfort of your house. But of course, we love having, you know, live audience. It's so great that this season we can actually have live audience back. And uh, so please just come with your mask and enjoy the concert. Okay, we're almost out of time, but how do we get those tickets? Uh, go to the topekasymphony.org website uh, or call in or go come at the door. Uh, there are many, plenty of uh, ways to get the ticket. All right, it sounds like it's going to be a wonderful concert coming up this Saturday. You won't want to miss it. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you so much for, uh, for, for having me and see you at the concert. Absolutely. And, and again, for tickets to Saturday's concert or for more information about Topeka Symphony Orchestra, just head to topekasymphony.org.